All right, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do another video because I just learned a bunch more stuff today. And uh, fortunately the sun is looking bad right now. But it, I got to see this thing do some stuff that uh, just when the sun started to dip. So right now I'm running one air conditioner on this and one on this. And uh, when I did that, um, and I started to get into this menu here. Um, I was actually showing it, uh, let's see if I go up here. So see right now it says output for the battery. So that means that I'm actually drawing like 15 or 16 amps from the batteries. Before, I had a couple of amps that were coming from the PV charging the battery while the inverter was running. And it kind of indicated this like back and forth thing. Um, so it's kind of interesting. So you really can't tell exactly what you're um, uh, producing from your your solar. Um, right now, see, look, it just changed over to charge because I know what just happened. The sun just popped out. See how my um, battery output is dropping? It's all over the place. There's probably some clouds passing by right now. So that charge one will start to flash when you uh, produce, you know, a certain amount of power. Um, before I was producing enough power between everything to run the two air conditioners, um, but it wasn't really topping off the battery, so it didn't indicate charging. That's how much I've done just today, 1.92 kilowatts. It'll keep track of this. There's the date and the time in military time, firmware. And uh, I think that's another firmware. I don't have it tied to the grid. And you can do... Um, uh, why would this thing just freaking focus? It's their display. It's really annoying. Um, you, can t you can do a grid tie. Uh, you can do like a grid backup. Um, you can set this for various different voltages. Um, as far as you can set it to... By default, it comes 110. So you do need to go in and change that if they're in, here in the U.S. Um, and unlike the white uh, LV2024, this one can do 240 volt split phase. Uh, I guess that one cannot. Um, and the other one can't do a grid tie-in. Of course, you would never get this approved for a grid tie-in. So I highly suggest do not tie this into your grid. You will have the electric police at your door when they see your meter roll backwards. And um, if your meter does roll backwards, you'll actually get charged for the amount that it rolls backwards. That's how it works. So don't do it. Just don't do it. If you want a grid tie-in, go find a company and have some professional solar installation done on your house. Okay. Get uh, batteries dipping. I don't like this volt amp crap. And it always reads the same as the watts, so... <laughs> um, but it's, the number's not supposed to be the same. I'm only producing 200 watts or less of solar right now. That's really bad. Um... Uh, Especially considering there's six 240-watt panels. So, uh, it's a little click thing through there. So, um, this does not have a temperature sensor on it either. Uh, you notice that. Um, yeah, we're not doing real good here. Um, so... I think if I move my terminal from this other one, put it on the other end of my shunt, and put a second meter on there, I might be able to kind of get an idea of what's going on a little bit better. I, I don't really care for this menu system on here. But I think that this is more efficient, possibly, than the, um, the other inverter. So that's something to consider. Anyway, um, boy, this got longer than I thought it would be. Thanks for watching.